Today on Cruise Man's Garage, we're installing these Pathfinder LED cowl lights to this 2018 Goldwing. Now these are both super bright daytime running lights as well as sequential turn signals. And they were designed to enhance the safety of the motorcycle by providing both forward and side lighting. So let's get started. This video shows a true plug-and-play installation using the G184XP plug-and-play harness from Pathfinder LED. Now the advantage to using this harness is you only have to purchase it one time and it can handle up to four different Pathfinder LED accessories. We'll put a link in the description below of where you can order the G184XP. Please read and carefully follow the installation guide that comes with the Pathfinder LED kit. Place your motorcycle on the center stand. Open both saddlebag doors and remove both of the side cover panels. Disconnect the heated seat connector on the right side of the motorcycle in front of the saddlebag. Remove the 6mm Allen bolts and washers on each side of the seat at the very front. Masking tape can be used to prevent paint damage during seat removal. You begin by releasing the two nylon pins at the front of the seat. Pull up firmly on both sides at the same time. Then, begin working the seat forward and up, making sure that the connector is free. Disconnect the negative battery cable. The fog light covers need to be removed, and they're held in place with these two 5mm Allen bolts. Using a 5mm Allen wrench or socket, Remove the two fog light covers on both sides of the motorcycle, as shown. It's very important that you print your template uh, correctly, and I'm using a Macintosh, and you know when you go to print uh, on your print dialog, you want to make sure you don't have uh, fit to printable area or shrink to printable area selected. You can see here on my Mac, it automatically selected scale to fit and print entire image, and I'm just selecting fill entire page. That will scale it to 100%. You could also click the scale button and hit 100%. So make sure you read these instructions carefully because how you print this is very important so that they come out the correct size. Now once you've printed the template, you want to use some scissors to very precisely cut these template guides out following the line all the way around. And once you have that done, we're ready to mark the fog light covers uh, for the holes that we're going to be drilling. To line up the template correctly on the fog light cover, start with the little pointed end. The point goes right into that corner right there, and you can either hold it in place or you could use a glue stick to kind of tack down that paper so that it stays in place. That's probably a good idea. And then I'm going to use a pick, or you could use an ice pick or an awl or anything to kind of mark where we're going to be drilling these holes. Here I'm using a step bit to drill the first hole, which is a 6mm hole. It's the one that's the farthest away from the fog light opening. And I like to use a step bit because I think it provides a cleaner hole, but you could use any 6mm drill bit to do this. The next hole will be an 11mm hole that will be the one closer to the fog light opening. Again, I'm using a step bit because I think it provides a really nice, clean, uh, smooth hole. And I'm just going to go down until it hits that 11mm uh, mark. 
and then I'll have my two holes drilled in the right side fog light cover. Now I'm going to repeat all this on the left side cover as well. We need to remove the plastic nuts from the underside of the cowl lights before we can install them. So just slip off the large nut. It will fit uh, over that plastic connector there. And then remove the small nut on the other end. The cowl light should now slip perfectly into place with the uh, threaded bolts going through the two holes as shown here. Now you can slip the large nut back over that electrical connector and down onto the threads. And then when you pull the uh, light into the cowl, you can insert the black uh, nut on those smaller threads as well. Now these only get hand tightened. You don't want to use a wrench or anything strong on these. So just finger tighten these as tight as you can get them with your fingers and that should be more than enough to hold this in place. And this is how your fog light cover should look before you reinstall it on the motorcycle. Now we're ready to run the wires from the cow light sub harness uh, from the fog light area up to underneath the seat. Now I'm going to be using a 36 inch cable tie as my fishing wire, but you could use a stiff piece of wire or a coat hanger for this. I'm going to begin by placing it on top of the engine. I'm going from the front to the back. You could go from the back to the front, but as long as it gets to the right place, we're okay. And once I can see my uh, fishing wire coming through there toward the rear of the engine, I'll go ahead and grab the end of it and kind of pull it through. But I don't want to pull it all the way through yet. I want to leave some hanging out up there by the uh, fog light cover area. Now next, I'm going to use some masking tape to tape my the small connector. Now this is the right side uh, wiring harness or sub harness, and it's the one that has the yellow wire on it. You always know you have the correct one because the right side has the yellow wire. So I'm just going to use some masking tape and wrap this to my uh, fishing line and then I'll be able to pull that sub harness through from that area on top of the engine. And here you can see I've been able to pull that connector and that sub harness through. Now you don't want to pull too much uh, because there is some wire at the end you, you want to leave there. So I'm going to go back now and I'm going to cable tie the end of this uh, sub harness, the one that has the long black connector. I'm going to kind of cable tie that to the uh, engine guard there, if you will. And uh, we'll just wrap a black cable tie around that, tighten it down. That way I don't run the risk of pulling my uh, sub harness all the way through that engine opening and have to refish it again. Now the second area I want to fish this uh, sub harness through is underneath or you know, past that frame, that silver frame, as you can see here. I want to get it to come out kind of between the frame and the gas tank. And then I'll pull it through there. And ultimately, we want to get this uh, wire harness, this sub harness, and that connector fished up underneath the seat. Later, we'll use some smaller cable ties to tie these wires up to some of these cables and wires underneath the frame here. The last step is to fish this uh, sub harness up underneath that frame rail between the gas tank and the frame rail as you see here. Now of course I'm showing this on the right side of the motorcycle. The left side is exactly the same. So just copy what I'm doing here on the left side of the bike as well. If you already have the SoCal Moto Gear plug and play harness installed, you can skip this section. Locate the two saddlebag connectors underneath the seat. Okay, this is the right side saddlebag connector that's under the seat, and I'm going to show you how to disconnect this. It works the exact same way on the left side. So basically, you're going to press down on this tab right here. And when you press down on that tab, you want to pull back like that. You see how that comes apart? The Pathfinder LED harness the one with the yellow wire. Look for the one that has the yellow wire right here. That goes on the right side of the motorcycle. So this is basically going to connect right in line. It's a good idea to route the accessory connectors underneath the silver frame rail shown here. That way they won't interfere when you go to put the seat back on the motorcycle. And sometimes you can do these one at a time, pushing them underneath any existing wiring harnesses and then ultimately underneath that frame rail.
And once again, I'm showing everything on the right hand side for the right connector, but you'll do the exact same steps for the left side connector as well. Now we're ready to connect our cowl light sub harness to one of the accessory connectors shown here. And again, we're going to do this on the right and left side. It is now safe to reconnect the negative battery cable. It's a good idea to test the lights before we put the bike all back together. So let's go ahead and connect our two cowl lights. Those connectors will only go together one way. So once you get those connected, you can just kind of let the fog light covers hang off the bike. They're not that heavy. And then turn the bike on and we want to see if everything lights up correctly. With the bike on, the DRLs should illuminate on both sides and check both turn signals to make sure they're working too. Once you've confirmed everything's working correctly, we're ready to reinstall the fog light covers. They go back on just like they came off, the little tabs on the side go in first, and then we replace the two 5mm screws that hold the fog light cover in place.